Assalamu alaikum students my name is Dr Imran Khatri I am working as an associate professor for department of entomology Sindh Agriculture University Tandu Jam our today's topic is what is insect classification or why do we classify insect what is the need of classifying insects Yes, we will be clear. Why do we classify insect? If we compare it with why do we classify kitchen items? Let's see here how kitchen utensils are classified according to the items. For example, forks are placed here, spoons over here, and knives. here plates or here and so on now when things are managed properly we can find them very easily for example we are looking for cups here are cups we can find it very easily our today's topic is classification of insects It was Aristotle from 384 to 322 BC he was the first person first scientist who thought to classify insects he was the part in academy in Athens Aristotle now he wrote Historia Animalium You can see this book here which in by him History of animals is one of the major texts on biology by the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle who had studied at Plato's Academy in Athens It was written in the 4th century BC. Aristotle died in 322 BC. Now he divided insects in four groups: bees, wasps, flies, beetles. After that, another scientist Caius Plinius Secundus from 23 to 79 AD he preserved continuity in insect classification then in 560 AD to 636 AD medieval christian scholars saint isidore wrote a book uh, isidore of Savelli etymologies he wrote a book on classification of insects he classified insects in termites silkworm cantharides bees wasp moths butterflies locust cicada trufla now ulisse aldro one day 1522 to 1605 from bologna wrote a massive folio work de animalibus insectis libri 7 classification now this is the city of uh, bologna Uh, where this uh, scientist belonged this is his uh, statue and uh, book in 1553 to 1604 thomas moffes classified insects and their habitats this is his publication bees honey bees apis mellifera this is his another book a 
John Ray, 1627 to 1705. John Ray, he wrote a book, Historia Insectorium. Now he was biologist, morphologist, and ecologist. Now from 1647 to 1717, Maria Sibyla. She was also entomologist. She wrote a book on flowers, butterflies, and insects. She was German-born naturalist and scientific illustrator and descendant of the Frankfurt branch of the Swiss Mariam family. Marian was one of the first European naturalists to observe insect directly. From 1683 to 1757, Rene Antoni Farchol D. Brammer, he was entomologist, He was French entomologist and writer who contributed to many different fields, especially the study of insects. He contributed memoirs of insects. From 1705 to 1759, August Johann Roselborn Rosenhoff. He was great entomologist, German miniature painter, naturalist, and entomologist with his accurate, heavily detailed images of insects. He was recognized as an important figure in modern entomology. This is his contribution. You can see here. It's very fine here. the Carl von Linnaeus, the father of taxonomy from 1707 to 1778 from the Uppsala. This is the picture of old Uppsala. He was botanist, zoologist and physician. When the similar names were existing for various organisms, so the Linnaeus thought, why not to develop a system that can recognize a single universal name for a single organism in all over the world. During his studies, Linnaeus described seven insect orders, Coleoptera, Hemiptera, Lepidoptera, Neuroptera, Hymenoptera, Diptera, and Aptera. Now, 1762 to 1833, Latrilly Perry Andry introduced the rank of families. He concentrated his work on Coleoptera, Orthoptera, Hemiptera, Neuroptera, Hymenoptera, Thysanura, Lepidoptera, and Diptera. 